Welcome to my lecture online. The Earth, the Sun, along with all the other planets in the solar system, they exist in a location called the Milky Way Galaxy. The Milky Way Galaxy is one of many, many galaxies in the universe. And here we're going to try and give us an idea, kind of a concept of how large the Milky Way Galaxy actually is. So the Milky Way Galaxy in general has a central bulge where the stars are much more dense and then it has a much more flat or like pancake shaped region where the spiral arms are located. And it turns out that our solar system is located in one of those spiral arms at a distance of about 28,000 light years away from the center of the galaxy, which by the way houses an enormously big black hole. But when you throw these numbers around, what does it actually mean? Well, we do know that the whole diameter of the galaxy is roughly 100,000 light years, that it contains about a quarter of a trillion stars, just like the sun, some of them bigger, some of them smaller. But again, it's just very difficult to fathom how large a galaxy is. What is 100,000 light years? What is a light year? Well, a light year is the distance that light travels in a single year. And then if you calculate the number of seconds in a year, it's roughly 31 million five hundred thousand seconds. Now light travels pretty quick. It travels at a speed of 186,000 miles per second, which is roughly 300,000 kilometers per second. What that means is that if you were to stand on the earth and you have a flashlight in your hand and you point it towards the moon, you turn it on, the light that leaves the flashlight will reach the moon in just over one second. Wow, can you imagine traveling from here to the moon in just a little over a second? and then keep going. And then if you were to go at that speed, that enormous speed, it's roughly seven and a half times around the Earth in one second, if you kept that speed going, for 100,000 years, you would actually reach from one end to the other end of the galaxy. In other words, if you stood on one end of the galaxy and you turn on your flashlight, the light leaving your flashlight would continue on and on and on and on for 100,000 years at this enormous speed, 186,000 miles every second, before it will reach the other side of the galaxy. And think about it. How long is 100,000 years? Well, let's say that we could live to be 100 years. That's very optimistic. Some people do it. Not everybody can. Then how many lifetimes would that be? That would be 1,000 lifetimes. So imagine living for 100 years and every second of your life, while you're awake, while you're asleep, the light is zipping along at this enormous speed of 186,000 miles every single second. 86,400 seconds in a single day. Every second it just moves at this enormous speed, that enormous distance every second. You go to sleep, you wake up, you go to sleep an entire lifetime. And then you take the next person who lives 100 years and the light just keeps going and then you go for 1,000 hundred year life spans. The time needed for that light at this enormous speed to get to the other side of the galaxy. Another way to think about it is this. We have another neighbor galaxy that's about 2.2 million light years away. Imagine that the light coming from this galaxy takes 2.2 million years to reach us. That galaxy called the Andromeda Galaxy is a little bit bigger than ours. It's 150,000 light years across. And let's say that you could magically go there and make the galaxy disappear. Just in an instant, it's no longer there. How long would it take for us to realize that that galaxy is no longer there? Well, you wouldn't know immediately because the light that left the galaxy just before it disappeared is still on its way and will take 2.2 million years to reach us. So for the first 2.2 million years, we would have no idea that that galaxy is no longer there. What would happen after 2.2 million years? Well, not that much initially, because since the galaxy is 150,000 light years across, in the first 1,000 years, only the first 1 1,000 of the galaxy would disappear from sight, and the rest would still appear to be there because it takes 150,000 years longer for the light from the back side of the galaxy to reach us compared to light from the front side of the galaxy. So essentially, once the galaxy would slowly begin to disappear, you slowly have this line going across the galaxy, it would take 150,000 years before the entire galaxy would disappear from sight. And that wouldn't even start until 2.2 million, uh, million years had gone by. 
that's the way in which we can kind of get a feel for the size of a galaxy. Can you imagine traveling across a galaxy? But of course, you could never travel at the speed of light. What if Voyager 1, at 38,000 miles per hour, could travel across a galaxy? It would take many, many, many millions of years. Hmm, matter of fact, let's calculate it real quick. Let's see here, 100,000 light years, multiply that times 6 trillion miles, times 6 e to the 12th, divide that by the speed of, um, the, speed of the uh, Voyager spacecraft, which I thought was about 38,000 miles, so divide by 38,000 miles per hour, that's per hour, there's 24 hours in the day, so divide by 24, and then there's 365 and a quarter days, and, wow, how long would it take? 1.8 billion years. So at the speed of 38,000 miles per hour, which is the speed of the Voyager spacecraft, which is now in interstellar space, it would take 1.8 billion years to, to travel from one side of the galaxy to the other side of the galaxy. I think you begin to see the picture. The galaxy we live in is enormously big. The Andromeda galaxy is even bigger. And there are hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. Wow. It's quite a place. It's big. It's unimaginably big. And that is the size of a galaxy.